Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mars, Martians. <laughs> Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? I love you too. Scorpios, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow, okay? There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind, feel the energy, remember roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, my love, but you will hear the truth. I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you so very much for your support of the channel. Coming into your energy, I felt like you were kind of um, in stealth mode. You know, I'll get there when I be there. I'll be there when I get there. Um... I'm not answering no questions, you know, uh, don't ask me nothing. Ask me no questions. I'll tell you no lies. You know, I, I, you're in like secret squirrel mode. You know what I mean? So because of that, I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can on this reading. Cause I don't want to tell all your business, but uh, what can I say? You know, I'm a snitch. So this might be a gem for the cross watchers. <laughs> Um, I feel like you're saving money too. Um, you're definitely uh, saving money. You have some plans. I feel like you lost uh, an opportunity uh, or how can I say this? An opportunity came to you that you couldn't take advantage of because you didn't have the money at the time. Yeah, you're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. Um, this secret squirrel energy, it, it's almost as if you feel, it, for some of you, it's like you're saying that's how they are with you, so that's how you are with them, you know? Scorpio, there it is. Canary. <laughs> the canary sings, my love, sings. You're singing your own song in the privacy of your damn bathroom, though. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, you're doing your own thing. You know, you're doing your own thing, walking to the rhythm of your own beat, uh, careless, carefree. It is what it is. You're enjoying life, you know. Um, you know that, let's see, if you didn't you didn't like what the DJ was playing, so you making your own music. I ain't mad at you. Uh, I have a lizard at the bottom of the deck talking about dreams uh, becoming reality, you know, um, yeah, I want to say it like that. Dreaming, uh, almost as if it's not really manifesting. <clears throat> it's not as far as manifesting, but definitely some seeds, definitely some seeds being planted, maybe in your dreams. You might be dreaming, a, oh, is that what you're hiding? Okay. I'm going to say it quiet. So, you know, because we want to keep it a secret, but it looks like you're actually dreaming of somebody else while you with somebody else. I ain't gonna lie, Scorp. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you may be wondering, you know, I wonder. You know what I'm saying? That's how this feels. I wonder. It's like, um, I wonder, I wonder what would have happened if I did this differently? What would have happened? It feels like a wonder of the past tense. You know, um, where would I be today if I blah, 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 blah. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, we don't know. That's what the whale kind of reminds you of. You know, this thing called life <laughs> is an experience, my loves. Um, you know, we don't know. There's no blueprint. There's no book you can read or tarot you can watch that tells you verbatim, you know, what's what for your life. Everyone has their own journey and they're entitled to it, you know. 
And even if you did have a blueprint, it there's no way a blueprint can include uh, the anomalies of free will, you know? So, you know, there's nothing wrong with wondering, but let me just say, you see the rabbit? What you weren't prepared for, that opportunity is coming back. And luck will be your lady that night. I'm telling you, you gotta be fearless and bold. Do you see this badger with the flowers? Do I make you horny, baby? That's Austin Powers right there. Now do I. <laughs> yes, Scorps, miracles are endless. You know, believe, you know, believe, just believe it. If you can believe it, you can make it so. Your um, angels and ancestors are letting you know that, you know, when you think or dream of uh, like uh, an accomplishment or, or an achievement, you know, um, an impossibility that that's, you know, e that's not even scratching the surface of the possibilities, the actual possibilities, you know, the most high is just so magnanimous, you know, this thing called life, it's just so magnanimous that, you know, sometimes we're get caught up in what we see every day, what we do every day, you know, um, you know, and it, it's, it's kind of, you know, you get caught up in, is this it? it no, heck no, it's not it. No, it's not. But, you know, hmm, Scorps, but you're in a pickle right now. So I don't know what you're going to do with that pickle. Mm. Let's do your spread. I am intrigued, Scorps. Good, good, good. We're using Vision Quest for you today. This is a pickle. I do like the fact that you're uh, you're feeling a bit bold. You know, you definitely feel a bit bold. You know, I don't think, hmm, how can I say this? It's not that I don't think you care, even though I don't think you care, but I think that you still remain respectful of other people's opinions on your decisions, okay? However, when they talk, you can't even hear them and it's you're not trying to be smart you probably when they're saying stuff to you you probably saying what you say say that again like it won't even go in and you're not trying to be smart because that's how i feel right now um it's like it's hitting uh i don't know like you put earplugs in or something um like it won't go in you're just really set on your own music your own beat your own drum your own thing um and you're not right now in an energy that you feel that you need to explain that. And I ain't mad at you. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to tell you this. Um, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, something else. Just give me a second. Something else is here. Pisces, Libra, it was something else. Leo? No. It's it's a it's a jumper. Gemini. God darn it. I should have known. Yep. Okay. Scorpio energy, please. Center energy for Scorpio. Scorpio energy, please. Ah, no? Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> Six of air, Six of swords energy uh, coming in reverse. And I have a two of wands upright, two of fire. Now, let's talk. Because if this isn't... Which way do I go? 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 <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. OMG, Scorps, I love y'all so much, but I ain't, that was that just tickled me. Uh, six of air in the upright would be you moving away from something that you feel is holding you back, holding you down, or toxic. You just want peace. You want calm. You don't want to talk about it. Um, but somebody is dead set on holding on to you. 
possibly an air sign. I want to say that. Okay. Uh, but you're kind of ready to make a move. I have to say that as well. You're ready to make a move. I feel like you know how the kids play with dad and they, they hold on to the leg and dad like pulls them, you know, that's how the <laughs> scorps, it ain't funny. It ain't funny. Oh, the cross watch is going to cuss me out today. Uh, Mother of Earth at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, um, you, you're really focused on home security, you know, things like that, nurturing uh, life. Uh, you're looking forward. See, this is the thing. This is what this person doesn't understand. When you are looking into your future and the security of your future, you don't see them. That's what they don't get. You feel for them now. You're maybe in a relationship now. But when you look to your future, the only thing you could see is your either your past or a possibility, honestly, of a single. Sorry, guys. Let me cut that off. Okay. Yeah. You know? Uh, look. Don't shoot the messenger. Let me put some cards down for I, um, I can feel the curse words through the damn um, video. Crown the energy, please, for Scorpio. Hello. Mother of water, see? Overall, I think your, your decision is going to be to go with whatever's best for you. The problem is really figuring that out. It, you know, it's like you kind of thought you had what was best for you already. And now that you're maybe changing your mind or you're having uh, second thoughts. Um, and when you look to your future, you're not seeing this. It's like you have to force yourself to see this person. Or when you see this person, they don't hold their weight. I'm not going to lie. We talking. Okay. Okay. Um, you don't see them being capable, like they'll always need you. They'll always need you. They need you. They need you. And it's nothing wrong. You know, you, you actually like being, um, uh, pampered and adored and loved. And, uh, you love it, that attention from your loved one, that compassion and caring, those little extra, you know, love in the windows. You like stuff like that, but you do expect for them uh, to hold their weight. You do expect for them to be able to catch you if you slip. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. And you don't see this person's growth fast enough. I'm going to say it like that because I don't think they're a lump on a log. I just think they move differently. They move slow. I ain't going to lie. But they probably move faster if they let your leg go. <laughs> Daughter of Earth at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this is a child. It's a child that refused to grow up. I ain't gonna lie. We talking. Okay? And I know that hurt. I'm gonna leave that there. I know that hurt. Uh, what's working against Scorpio right now? What's in the way? What's working against Scorpio right now? What's in the way? love 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 so in one hand we have divine love this is what i was saying for some of you really this is a, a grown child or a child that's in like uh coming into their grown years they're more independent time in life and they're refusing the transition um one hand we have divine love here is this the love of god uh Yes, this card represents that. Does this mean God don't love you? No, okay? But uh, there is some areas that are not working. I have to say it like that. With the Ace of Water working against you, the water replenishes, it rejuvenates, it uh, washes, uh, it restores, you know, it's also reconciliation, you know, things like that, new beginning energy. And this energy is working against you because of this release not happening, okay? But in the other hand, you're saying... Um, I know what I need to do. You know, you've worked it out within yourself. You wor you worked on yourself and 
that didn't work either because you're still out of balance with uh, balance here, justice energy. You know? You, you could be also thinking about a Libra, but this is the one you want to move towards. Oh, the plot thickens. I tell you, Scorps, this is a pickle. This person always shows up in your energy. I don't know if they're not a Libra. Um, Libra, Scorpio, Cusper, you might be. And if that's the case, you struggle with those energies. You, you struggle balancing that energy. Um, water and air is tricky to balance within yourself because it's, it's like you're either over emotional or overthinking, you know, it's hard to get a balance in between. Um, so you're going to have to do some more inner work to kind of get, get like a hold on that, get an anchor on that energy so that you have better control and that energy doesn't control you. You know what I'm saying? But I stand by. Uh, my explanation of your center energy. I think you're ready to make a move and you feel weighed down. Um, what's crowning you is an, a mother of water, which is saying you, you make a decision by um, choosing what you love, you know, who you love, what you love, things like that. But when you, you look at it, you're saying, well, but where is the love? How can I choose love? Where is the love? So maybe you're separated from this person. This person is not accessible. Or this person is, um, like I said, it's a child that's refusing the trans. They're fighting against the transition. And, you know, it happens. Some teens just think they're supposed to be they teens until they 40. Hello? I'm just saying. Where is this coming from? For Scorpio, what brought this on? The Nine of Fire, Nine of Wands energy. Okay, so in the past, there, there was a situation that you had to make it through. There was a battle, okay? Now, this battle scarred you. All right. It scarred you to a point that you now have kind of like um, rules. You have rules. Uh, you have uh, guidelines that you follow. You have, you know, people need a password for entry. You know, you guard your heart. You guard your peace. You guard your finances. You are on mother loving guard um, because whatever happened to you will never, ever, ever happen again. You have told yourself this and you're standing by that. However, however, there's little sprouts of life because you still have a yearning for something, something. Yeah. See nine of air at the bottom of the deck. You were hurt with that nine of fire stressed you all the way out, but there's still something. Um, do I mean you want this old person as that hurt you? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you might move differently, but there's, uh, but you still yearn for that kind of, uh, connection without the abuse. You know, you want the win without the lose, the, without the loss, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can I have the win without the risk? You know, can you guarantee, if you can guarantee no loss, everybody's a winner, I'm in. You know, and that at that point, that's the only way you're going to gamble. So, but the energy is saying, most high, what's crowning you is the mother of earth. You have to go, we have love yourself enough to choose what makes you happy. You know what I mean? Now, where is this going? Scorpio energy, where is this going? Future energy for... Oh, hell no. I, why do I have to have two separate situations? All right. So on one hand, uh, some of you are saying, I, I got to work on this a little bit more. I got some more work to do. I'm not ready to make a decision, but I will. Um, you're just really focused on the job and the job right now is kind of taking up enough of your um, energy 
that you're not really stressing, okay? You're thinking, but not stressing. Now, others of you, I have a six of water, I have a mother of earth, and I have a spiritual warrior, uh, chariot energy, okay, for this deck. Now, let me say this. Others of you, it, it's almost as if you foresee your future, okay? Uh, this is a past life connection with somebody you think should either should have been the mother or, or father of your child, but they're not, but you still feel divinely led to them. And to be honest, I still don't see you making a move. I just see confirmation of how you feel. I don't, or if this is vice versa, I don't see them making a move. I see confirmation of how they feel. Now here, it looks like you want to make a move, but two wands, meaning you're, you're taking the step, but it's just one. I ain't gonna lie because it's still a choice to be made. And it's hard to make a choice on your own, especially when you have somebody you feel is dragging on your leg, you know? Bottom of the deck, I have a father of mother loving fire. That's how you boss up. See, Scorps, that's what I'm saying. Embody this. Embody this king right here. Because this king is the best kind of energy to handle a situation like this. I, I, I'm liking this. All right. The king of wands is extremely focused, passionate, forward moving. Um, marriage material from head to mother loving toe. However, he don't need a queen. He has no problem running his kingdom on his own, okay? Period, point blank. The queen is the same way. That they're, this, the, the father and mother of fire or king and queen of wands, they're a suited couple. They don't need each other though. You, you going, go ahead. You coming, come on. They don't need each other, believe me, okay? But this is what you're saying. I'm bossing up, okay? Because when I look at my past, I see things I've done wrong. Um, or maybe times that I missed an opportunity or I let something slip through my fingers. And honestly, I have some regrets regarding that, okay? But now I'm faced with this situation that I have to deal with. I don't know if I continue to nurture what I have or drop it like a hot potato and, you know, start over because it's not what, from what I can see, it's already reached its peak, you know, this is what I was saying earlier. I feel like when you're looking to the future with the person you're with, you don't see them holding the weight of the kind of dreams you have, if that makes sense, okay? Now, this medicine woman right here smells you. Scorps, if this is your story, they smell you. And if this is your cross watcher story, you smell them. Um, this medicine woman smells uh, something. I'm going to tell you that they smell you. They smell. I don't know how else to say it. They literally can smell um, you. Very talented um, energy. Um, they're picking up what you're sending. You see the smoke? They're, they're receiving what you're, you're, the energy you're putting out. They, re they know. They know how you feel. They know what you're thinking. Or you know how somebody feels. You know what they're thinking. The problem is that they're waiting for you to figure out what you going to do? They're not coming to you. I'm going to tell you, mother of air, I told you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, they're not coming to you. All right? They're not. Okay? They're sitting in their truth, standing in their truth, and it's hard for both of y'all. It is. It's hard, you know? But you talk to the angels and you say, look, I just need a little bit of help. I already know what I want. I already know what I have. You know, just I, I just need I need some guidance. I need some assistance. I I I I'm, 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 I need something. I need something. Okay. And you get what you need when you need it, but it's not what you want. Six of Earth is breakthrough energy. It's um, nine times out of ten, the manna that you receive is more information. But you have you have the information. You want validation. Okay, there it is. There it is. This validation lets you know, it's almost as if you take that information and you say, you know what? I am 
independent. I am strong. I am abundant. I am intuitive. I am um, in tune with the most high, you know, and I'm not going to rush this thing. I'm going to just uh, sit back in my garden and, and enjoy the fruits and God, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. That's what you're going to tell yourself. Devil energy. And that's where the devil will meet you. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you, it, not that you, not all of these things, you are, but this wasn't your assignment. You asked for information and clarity on direction, but then said, I'm a sand still. That's what you said, Scorp, or this is what somebody else's story is. So, okay, you're going to stand there. All right, here comes the torment. And you may be abundant and you may be, they may be in their garden and they may be eating well. They're being tortured in their mind. This is a mental conflict, you know, devil energy. It's toxic. It's toxic. It is. Because this step was never taken, the daughter of fire. This is the feminine of the page of wands. You know, the step has to be taken. Um, but you still send smoke signals. All right, so you say that's a step, that's something. Okay, so you send a smoke signals. The high priestess is picking it up. And here we have a shaman. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, I don't even understand. I'm laughing because at this point, somebody can just get off their ass and, and pick up the phone, but okay. Um, so we have some growth here with the shaman. We have some structure with the shaman. We have some levels with the shaman. It's Hierophant energy, Taurian energy. Okay. So maybe you seek, uh, guidance from leadership. Maybe you talk to your bishop or your priest or your, I mean, or your pastor. Maybe you talk to uncle Earl or aunt Sarah. It don't matter to me. Okay. But whatever they give you, you take it and they give you food for thought. The only thing they give you is what God already gave you, which is a choice and I don't understand Scorps either what you're you're trying to get from this I know you don't want to gamble anymore but you're asking the same question over and over from different sources and you're getting the same information and answer because eventually it just comes down to you or your person okay remember the roles can, and you struggle with that you see the fight this is the struggle going on with your mind. Should I call? No. Should I text? No. Um, what should I do? Should I look on the uh, email? No. You know, Instagram? No. Facebook? No. But like you fighting with yourself, you know, or that's what this person is doing. They're fighting in their head. You know, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, you know? So in this fight, they're manifesting kahunas. This is a manifestation of some balls, okay? Medicine man with a grandfather, emperor energy. <sighs> I don't like this. I wish I could manifest the strength, the uh, ego, the uh, confidence of this emperor so that I can show my love, you know, pour into this situation but there you go, Scorp. Look, but this change, I feel stuck. It's the change that has you stuck. It's like one minute you're fighting to stay, keep what you have. The next minute you're fighting for to move on. Wow. What is this? Um, there's a blessing here. Ace of Earth. Uh, with a tower in Ace of Air, there's a sudden wealth that, huh, you might walk into a house, uh, what do you call, um, a situation where a house becomes available, the down payment is good, like all of a sudden, you know what I mean? With that four of wands, but you still, or they still peeking on you, or you peeking on them, son of air, page of swords energy. And not saying nothing. The moon still in secret. I, Scorp, I'm, I, I think I'm over this. It was cute in the beginning. Um, I don't see no movement towards you. I don't see you moving towards them. So I'm over it. I ain't gonna lie. 
I love you. So let's see what else we can put on this reading because look at this. Games, holding on to bull, holding on to pain, wanting somebody real bad with the life force. You know, some of you might do it. I have to say that because a life force represents like ecstasy, lust, something you want really, really bad. Okay. And it's coming in with full energy. So somebody might take that leap of faith um, and embody that fire energy. Again, what we were talking about earlier, this is the mother this time. Um, and they're, they're with a boomstick. Now that's a lot of fire, baby. That's a lot of passion. And it leads to abundance and uh, a fruitful life with that 10 of earth, 10 of pentacles energy. Okay. Um, I like it. Father of earth. So we got lots and lots of pentacles. I like it. But somebody is in pain. You know, I don't know, Scorp, if you're saying you don't want to hurt somebody to be free or to, to, to live or... They're saying that they don't want to hurt their person and come towards you. Um, you can't help. This judgment is being called on this air um, sign. I'm not going to lie on this air sign situation because um, they're elevating father of air to the um, empress. Yeah, and with judgment, it's almost as if you may have been, Scorps now, we talking, okay? You may have been their divine counter, but uh, because of your back and forth, um, they're um, being now led towards another divine counter uh, or vice versa, okay? And I'm saying that by way of the Empress only because I'm holding the grandmother. Here's the father of air. This is still your reading. I'm not switching sides, all right? So stop bitching. But um, yeah, with this spirit guide, see, they're being led to a different direction now. And they're being elevated in the process. Okay, so with you, you, father of water here, start um, enjoying life, planting seeds on the decision that you make. You stand by it, you know, even though you still... Um, it's like this person has a torch or carries a torch, you know, what's, um, it's almost like you're walking away from the tent instead of towards it. But, you know, um, life is a pickle sometimes, my love. I'm going to tell you this. You don't end up in a bad place. You, um, definitely think about some times in your life where you make where you could have made different decisions in love, but you don't end up in a bad place, my lovely. Okay, the sun is here. Happiness is here. Look at you, still waiting on love. Uh, three of wands with the lovers. Yep. So just as this, uh, your person, if you're going to be led to another one, then it happens. If they're going to be led to another one for them, it happens. Okay, yep. It's going to be up to you to accept it, though, when it comes around again. Yeah, see, there's the victory. Mm-hmm. I like it. But we had to do a lot. You see what we had to go through to get it? I'm just saying. Scorp, that's a lot. So if you're waiting for somebody to choose you and come around, not waiting. I ain't saying you sitting in the house waiting, but you know what I'm saying. Um... You know, I get why you're saying you're not giving up what you got for a possibility. I get it. I get that a lot now. I, at first, I'm like, go with your heart and blah, blah, blah. No, I, I get it now. I get it. All right. So we're going to leave this here. It's enough for now. If in the event you said green eyes, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know my life. This doesn't resonate. I'm okay with that. Check your moon or rising sign this time. Please don't take the energy with you if it's not yours. Leave it here for another Scorpio, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so, and it does support the channel. Now, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.